Hello, and welcome to Lesson 7 on our series of Applied Wing Chun Kung Fu, where today we're going to be covering what we call the chase. The chase is actually maybe not a good way to describe it. Really, what we're doing is using the empty hand pulling punches that you see in the end of the first form. For example, when I have the hand and I punch, I'm punching in my center line and my wrists are crossing in the center. And essentially, what am I doing here? I'm pulling my lead hand so that my rear hand can excel forward. And when I push the hand forward, I'm punching from my solar plex up to my shoulder level. My pulling hand is pulling down toward my solar plex. So the hands aren't hitting into one another, but they are moving simultaneously together, keeping my center line closed, utilizing the principle of opposite action, pushing and pulling. From a side view, it would look like this. And notice, when I pull my hand, I'm pulling it back only as far as my elbow. I'm not pulling the hand all the way back. Because now, by doing that, I've left left this area of my body open, and it takes too long of a motion to travel to bring the hand forward again. So the idea is to keep my hands in front of me, pushing and pulling. Now, <laughs> again, utilizing that principle of opposite action, it's more important to think of the pull than it is the push. For example, if I want to punch my hand forward and I use just my one hand punching, I can get more power and faster reaction than pushing this hand forward if I think of pulling. So what I want to do is pull, pull, pull. When I pull the hand, the rear hand uh, excels much faster and with more authority and power. So you pull, 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 pull. That's why we call this the empty hand pulling punch. But we deploy this hand in what we call the chase. And again, like I say, the chase may not be a good uh, way of explaining it because I see a lot of Wing Chun people when they fight they're actually running after their opponent, just throwing these punches. And I see a lot of times that uh, the fight ends up where both people are hitting one another. And it looks very uh, sloppy and messy. And the goal here is not to only hit your opponent, but not to get hit. So what we're going to do today is show how to properly train to chase and then how to properly apply the chase. We will be deploying some new footwork uh, and a different horse that we'll explain in the video. So again, I'd like to welcome you to lesson seven, and we're gonna have a lot of fun today. 